He should have been back hours ago. I know he said he had a long work day ahead of him, but it's already getting dark. <sighs> I might have to go to bed soon. What am I saying? I know I couldn't sleep until I know it's safe. And with how horrible the weather is right now, I'm starting to get really worried. I hope nothing happened to him. Finally, that's gotta be him. Hey babe, good to have you back. Oh my, you're all drenched. <laughs> okay, I guess that was a bit of a no-brainer. How come it took you so long to come back home? I'm already in my pajamas. You were so tired and desperate to come home after work that you wanted to try out a shortcut? Not to sass you, babe, but that's like the opposite of an explanation. Oh, you misread the bus schedule? And ended up in a whole different city by accident? And while you spent all day trying to find a way back, you were surprised by that awful rainstorm? And, like always, you didn't have a phone with you to call anyone. Oh no, I'm not laughing at you. Even though it is pretty funny. I'm just happy that you're here now. I was worried sick that something way worse might have happened to you. Here, let me take your jacket. How about I make your favorite tea to help you warm up while you put on some dry clothes? Alright, be right back. The tea's ready, and you do look a lot better all dried off, if I may say. For real though, do you think you've caught anything? Do you feel sick? Don't think so. Yeah, I figured. You always did manage to withstand the cold better than I can. Remember how in winter I would always sit on your lap to warm myself up? Hmm. Actually, uh, this gives me an idea. Come here. Have a seat. Of course I mean on my lap, silly. I'd like to return the favor. Babe, I know that you enjoy being the source of comfort and protection and all that, but after how stressful your day was, you deserve to have the same done for you. I want to be there for you the same way you're there for me. There. Feeling cozy? See? I knew you'd like it. Aw, look at that. Your feet aren't even reaching the ground from up here. That's adorable. Yes, you are adorable, sweetheart. Oh, you're done with your tea? Well, maybe we should go to bed then. You deserve some rest after such a long day. Actually, I have a better idea. Just let me wrap my arms around you and... Up we go. After how much you had to walk today, it's only fair you get to be carried now. Aw, don't you worry about being heavy, babe. You weigh like zero pounds. Sorry, I don't know how much that is in kilograms. There we go. Now let's put you down on the bed. And me next to you, to keep you from getting cold again. Hmm? So you liked being on the receiving end this time. You enjoyed being on my lap and me carrying you to bed? I'll do it again any time, darling. Why do you sound so worried? Because a guy isn't supposed to? Darling, I told you, gender roles don't mean anything. If they keep you from doing something you like, just ignore them. Is that so? Well then, answer this. If a girl isn't supposed to carry her boyfriend, how come you fit into my arms so perfectly? Checkmate, Atheus. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. If you need any comfort, support, or reassurance from me, don't be afraid to ask, even if it's not manly. I want to be there for you the same way you are for me. So, if the weather is better by then, how would you like a piggyback ride through the park tomorrow? Then it's a date. 
Good night, sweetheart. I think whoever wrote the script is English because it says zero stones and no pounds. I can't believe I have to localize this script from British.